guys welcome back to another video so today's video i'm actually starting later than planned but it's still the same concept so today's video is an admin day in the life but i'm starting it at like 4 p.m um but it's basically going to be all the admin that i need to do i need to update the website um i've got some merch that arrived today um i need to do a few bits with the merch hopefully today so um i'll be showing you that fingers crossed it might be like a two-day vlog and then i need to update my etsy i need to um what else do i need to do i've got my list here we go my very long list for this afternoon um i need to write podcast ideas so i need to list all my podcast ideas because i'm starting a podcast um i need to film the first episode which is like a trailer so that will be kind of like an introduction of what it's going to be about and then just like introducing myself um i need to bake two trays of brownies and make four cake pots for tomorrow but that isn't like any rush um they're all post orders so i can post them out up to 12 p.m tomorrow so it means that i've got plenty of time in the morning to do it um i need to order from sprinkly uk because i need to buy some more sprinkles i need to order the ikea pegboard which is going up here and what else do i need to do i need to print off some paperwork um things like temperature checks because i write it all down so i need to print off another like chart that i have in my spreadsheets then i need to add some cake toppers to the website because i want to start like posting cake toppers as well so i want to add those to the website and also um like cupcake toppers like mini ones and then i need to put away some clothes which i've done so i can take that off i need to write out some insta posts so i've got about 10 photos in my drafts on insta and also on tiktok so i need to write out the post for those so i was thinking that i can like time lapse that and like screen record for you and then i've got to prep the boxes for tomorrow so i need to prep the easter boxes for this weekend but that will probably be later on in the vlog and then i also need to prep the postal boxes for tomorrow so that's just two boxes and then all of the kind of like information that needs to go in them so that is what we need to do i also wanted to spin and have a bath later so my spin bike is kind of like moved out of the way it's usually across here in front of the window um but yeah i'm planning to hopefully do spin later and then have a nice hot bath um but you know i've been planning to have like a nice hot bath rather than a shower for the past like week and i just never have the time so i always just have a shower but i'm hoping that i can have a relaxing bath because i really need it um last night i was up until 2 a.m finishing a cake and some um of our like personalized orders so yes i'm very very tired um but yeah we have a long list of things to do so we're gonna start making our way through them i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna film this so if you like the style that it's filmed in then let me know if you want me to add anything in or change the way it's filmed again let me know because i've never done one of these before um so there's a lot of like ordering things and shop with me that kind of style so we will see but we're gonna open this box first because i want to show you the merch so this is the hoodies they're not printed yet because if you haven't been watching my other videos you won't know that i'm printing it all myself so i have a heat press which is actually right in front of me and i am printing them all myself and then i use the heat press to actually put it onto the items of clothing so we have this big box and it hasn't even got that much in it. It's got like six hoodies in it, which is all my tester ones. And for all of the promos and for the merch shoot that is coming up. So, I think there is no, um, is there like a little order note? I don't think there is. Um, it says that they're size small and I ordered 10, but that I don't think that's right. Um, hopefully that's not yeah they're mediums um so i got a pink one which i love so i'm gonna hold it up to me so you can kind of see the sizing um but as you can see it's like a bit big for me which is good because i wanted it oversized um so this is the medium i think they go up to extra large because i wanted someone that's going to be able to like cater for lots of different sizes and then i think it goes down it's either to small or to extra small but this is kind of like I would say an eight to 10 if you want it oversized. It could do a 12 if you wanted it a bit tighter, but I want them like oversized. So that is the pink one. So I got one of those. Then we got one gray. I've also got the sweatshirts, which I'm gonna 
use I think as um, like testers so I'm gonna have those myself but I do prefer the hoodies so I think I'll actually stock the hoodies because they're nicer quality um, and they're also thicker so they're a bit nice they're not really really chunky so what I might do is have these ones for summer because they're perfect for summer and also if you have something underneath but then I do like the really thick hoodies but again I don't know if people would prefer that um because typically the hoodies are kind of like in between um they're not too chunky because otherwise they can be really really warm even in winter so we'll see but I do like these ones for the moment um and then I haven't decided whether I'll want to keep these for winter as well, but I think I probably will. So this is the gray. So it's like a gray mall. So we've got one gray. These are all mediums. So they're all the same sizing. Then how many, how many small, how many white did I get? Let's see. I got more white because there's more designs which are gonna go on the white. Um, the pink and the gray is more so that I can show you guys what they're gonna look like, like the color um style of it whereas the white ones i wanted to use i wanted to use all white but i'm going to be stocking gray pink and white so i thought i should probably have some of the promo shots on pink and gray hoodies um i ordered medium i don't know if i did all medium because i considered getting a couple large just to see what they would be like um medium 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 so we went for four mediums and i'm probably gonna keep the gray the pink and then i might keep like one or two of these because i live in hoodies so here are the white ones so it is like an ice white as you can kind of compare it to my white furniture um so yeah it's not like a mall or anything it is like solid white so that is the white ones and i've got i think it's five hoodie designs and then four t-shirt designs so i'm gonna promo all of these so they're all gonna be made up and then the way that it works is i can order the exact sizes that people need so i'm gonna have all the sizes on the website and all of the colors and then obviously if my supplier goes out of stock in certain sizes then i'll take those off um but I do plan to eventually have a stock, but obviously small business, I can't just have a stock of every single size. So the way that it's gonna work is that I can order as and when I need. So like if I do, it will be um, like three to five days lead time. I think it's gonna be more towards five. And that means that you guys order, then I will order from my supplier and I'll order like say five mediums if I get a couple of medium orders so that I have a stock of them. And then it will mean that I print them, make them all, post them out to you. Um, and yeah, it means that I can order the exact size that I need in the exact color. Um, but hopefully in the future, I'll be able to just stock at, at least a little amount of each size and color. Um, but because there are like five or six different sizes and three different colors, um, it makes it a bit difficult because that would cost a lot to have such a huge amount of stock. But yeah, and I'm hoping to get some light blue. I did look at the light blue online, but it looked a little bit luminous, um, whereas the pink is a bit more muted, like even though it's a very light pink, it's not like neon in your face. So I need to check out the blue one before I stock that, because I want to make sure that I like the tone of it. Um, but yeah, so those are the merch. Those are the hoodies. And then you've already seen the t-shirts in the live. Um, but they are just white, like boyfriend style t-shirts where they're like a little bit baggy. They're not like tight fit. And they're also round neck, the same as like this sweatshirt, just cause I think that's like the safest thing. I never wear V-neck. Um, and I also never wear like tight fitting. I always go for like the boyfriend fit. So that's what I went for with the merch, but you'll get to see them all on me in the photo shoot. Cause I'm doing a shoot for all of the merch, including mugs. Um, and then hopefully in the future tea towels. Cause I think that all the bakers will like having tea towels with like all the um, illustrations on and stuff. So yes, that is the current merch situation, but we're gonna get into the rest of the vlog. So guys, 
excuse the hair it is a mess um so not much has changed since um the intro to this vlog um but i'm gonna do a little bit of online shopping now because i need to order a few things which were on my list earlier so basically i haven't done anything else admin -y because i had to bake some brownies and some cupcakes and we're currently like in the process of redoing, like we haven't started yet, but we're organizing to redo our bathroom, kitchen and toilet. So um, yeah, basically we ended up getting sidetracked looking at stuff for that. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work over the next like however many months um because the kitchen it's not like a redo we're just changing all the fronts of the cupboards so it's not like we're like drilling and stuff in there um and because i've got a separate area in the kitchen i think that maybe we can do the main part of the kitchen and then do mine um on days where i'm not baking and then kind of like leave the cupboard doors on when i am baking if that makes sense so because it's not completely like ripping out the kitchen it's literally just like changing cupboard doors and changing the worktops we should be able to work it around when i have orders hopefully um but yeah so i will probably do a little show and tell um not so much at all but just show you once it's done over the next however many months because um you might like to see the new look it's going to match my drawers because my parents liked the new drawers that i got for the kitchen um for my new storage which are the gray ones so they wanted to change the kitchen cupboards to gray and then they're going to change the worktops to white which will be really really nice because it's currently black but you can't like see marks and stuff so um white is more like obvious as to when you need to clean it obviously like i wipe stuff down all the time but like in the main kitchen you might not see like the odd spill because it's black whereas white it shows all the marks which is quite nice um but yeah so that's the kitchen update and i'm back in my office now so we're going to be going on to like ikea i need to go on to sprinkly uk um i need to go on to amazon so I'll probably kind of like video my screen because I can't screen record because of the way that I'm editing my videos currently, like not on my computer. So I'll just like record the screen for you so you can see like what I'm doing. So it'll be a bit of a shop with me. But yeah, I just need to order a few bits. Then I'm going to have a bath because it's currently 8.30. Um, so I want to have a bath and use some bath salts and like relax. And then tomorrow morning I'm getting up early and tomorrow all I've got to do is decorate the brownies, um, which will be quick, um, bake two more trays of brownies and make two chocolate filled eggs. Um, do I need to make, I think I need to make a treat box as well, um, but I might be wrong. Where's my order book? It's for Friday. I'm making Friday stuff tomorrow. Um, so I need to make, yeah, a treat box for Friday. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that all tomorrow. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get all my admin done tomorrow because I won't be faffing so much. I feel like the past um, two days, I've just been faffing a lot because um, we've been doing like various things throughout the day or just like talking about various things. Um, so yeah, it just like sidetracks me if I'm talking to people. Um, but yeah, everything that I actually need to do in terms of orders is all done, but it's just all of the um, admin stuff, which gets like put aside, which is why so much of it builds up. But yeah, we're gonna work through my list and hopefully I will make a bit of a dent on it. But we are going to log into my computer and start the shopping because that's what I need to do right now.
now half ten. I did my Amazon order, so I ordered quite a few things. I got a few extras. There were things that I wanted to get, but then when I was on there, I kind of remembered that I needed them. So I got bubble wrap. I got um, large letter boxes. I got some new gloves because mine aren't like skin tight. They're really loose. They're kind of like hair dye gloves, which is fine for like things like putting bits on cakes. But when you're working with like fondant or you're trying to pick up chocolate and stuff, they're just not tight enough because they're not a good enough fit. So I got these um, vegan friendly like eco ones and they were like a couple of pounds more than normal like latex free gloves. So and they're all food safe. So I thought I'll try those out. I got a sellotape like dispenser and it comes with three tapes and it's one of the ones where it like tears it off for you. I got some resealable bags because I need them for my DIY cupcake kits. I got some ribbon just because I use it for like treat boxes and stuff. I've seen these going around and I wanted to get some pink masks because they just look cute and I need some masks because I keep running out of masks like... I've got a few disposable ones, um, but I have like reusable ones, but they're just not that pretty. They're like black and gray. And literally whenever someone comes for a collection, I'm running around like a headless chicken trying to find my mask. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get some masks so that if I need to see people, then I can quickly grab a mask and then it's like easy done. So I got some pink ones and I got a pack of a hundred. I got some piping bags. These ones are for um, chocolate because I ha already have like big piping bags for my buttercream, but I need some for chocolate just for like drizzling. And then I got two contact papers because I ran out today of contact paper um, and that comes on Friday. So that's good because that'll be before I do any more cakes. So I've got white and then I got a white and gray marble because I really wanted to try that. Um, so yeah, that's what we got from Amazon. I got all my sprinkles. I got a couple of color mill colors just because I really like the colors and obviously they're good for coloring chocolate and I've got my new cake pop molds, which I'm trying to do like promos for. So I wanted to use the, I got an emerald, which is like a really nice green and then I got a nude. So I wanted to use those for some promo photos and then I can make up the molds with like chocolate and then take photos of it for my Instagram. So I got that and then I got loads of sprinkles. I get the sample packs because they last ages and it also means that you can buy loads of them like if there's a particular one which I love like I probably should have done this with the metal rods but I don't think they had it um the gold metal rods I go through those a lot because I really like them whereas I would quite like to have you know 20 different packs of sprinkles and I'd rather buy the smaller bags that still last as long um and when you're not using them as often then they last a little bit longer anyway but then it just means I can mix and match with cakes so I just buy lots of different sprinkles so I get to try lots of different ones. And then on Ikea, so it was a bit of a pain. They wouldn't do delivery because the pegboard, the actual main item that I was getting, like that I was wanting, that couldn't be delivered for some reason. But I can go and collect it from Milton Keynes. So I'm going to have to drive 30 minutes to go and get it on Friday. Um, but it's collection between four and I think it's eight. So what I'm thinking is I'll go there and then maybe on the way back I'll get like a Costa or a McDonald's, something like that. And then that'll be like, make it more worthwhile because that's where it is. It's right by the stadium in MK for anyone that is local. Because I know I recently found out that quite a few people watch me that are local. So if I mention places, then you'll probably know where I'm on about. But yeah, so I ordered my pegboard, which is going here. It's going in that gap. Um, I think this painting is going to move and then it will be like all across there. Um, so the pegboard's going in the office because I need, it's got some rails for tapes and like ribbons to go on, which all my ribbons will go on. I got 26 rolls of ribbon because it was really cheap for, um, I think you get three meters of each color. So, and I don't need a particular color. It's just for treat boxes. So I can again, mix and match. So I got two of the rails so that I can hang tapes and things on. Then I got it's two of the little boxes so if you're familiar with the pegboards there's um six little boxes on this one which means you can put like paper clips pins anything like that in it's gone got some magnetic clips it's got two pen pots three hooks just for little bits um they're the sort of hook that would fit a like key ring or something on something small and then I also got a little mini shelf which goes on the pegboard and I got the 76 by 56 pegboard pegboard I think it is um 
yeah the 76 by 56 yeah so it's like the bigger rectangle one so it will fill the space on the wall um but yeah it was 42 pound 50 with postage or like with collection um because i have to go and get it um but yeah so that that is what i bought um i'm gonna go and prep the postal boxes for tomorrow there's literally only um two boxes and then i just need to put all the um like packaging in there and then tomorrow I'm going to do labels because I don't need to post them until 12 p.m. So I've got plenty of time to do it in the morning because I'll be up at seven for a walk. So um, yeah, I will be finishing the paperwork for the boxes tomorrow and like the postage labels. Um, and then yeah, the boxes I'm going to prep now. And then I think that's pretty much it for today. We've actually crossed quite a lot off. Um, I'll show you my list. As you can see, there's quite a lot crossed off. And I think two of those are to prep the boxes. So we can cross off the postal box one. So I need to write some TikToks, write some Instagram posts. So I think what I'll do is when I'm in bed and I'm writing them, I was gonna um, screen record so I can show you guys. And then I need to finish this vlog, which will be crossed off eventually. Tomorrow I'm gonna update all my website photos because some of the brownie photos that are on there are quite old. I have so many more photos now because I've done so many trays. So I literally wanna just have a bank of like 30 photos so that when someone goes onto a listing, it's got loads. So then it just, one, it makes it look like I do a lot, which I do. Um, and it just shows them what each of the flavours look like. So um, I want to update that. I need to add the cake toppers to the site. Um, we are going to need, I don't think I'm going to do it in this video because I think it would bore you to death. Um, but I might do like a prepping for my tax return video because I need to do loads of invoices. Like so many. Um, I've probably got maybe like a hundred because no one requests them from me um, apart from like wedding cakes and like big things like that. So my plan was to, at the end of each month, do the orders for the month and I just haven't got round to it. Luckily I've managed to organize the Etsy and Wix generate invoices like automatically so that saves me doing all the online orders but all of my in-person orders i need to do invoices for so we're going to have that fun job in a couple of weeks because that is going to be a right pain but yeah that is the update i will show you once i've packaged all the um postal boxes i'll probably time lapse me doing it and then I'll, I might see you after my bath, but if not, I will see you in the morning um, and then I'll be finishing off the rest of the list then. Um, but yeah, it's currently half 10. So I think I'm gonna run the bath whilst I'm doing the boxes because that won't take very long. And then I'm gonna get in the bath, probably like have maybe half an hour and then afterwards I can do a little bit before midnight, like go to bed, but um brainstorm some ideas and stuff before i actually go to bed so yes that is the plan i will see you in a bit so postal boxes are prepped so they got my sticker on the front i've got the packing slip bit here the two postage bags then inside they've got tissue paper this one's got three cellophane bags because there is a brownie tray there's some cake pops and then there's one gluten-free cake pop so i need to put that in a separate bag there's a business card in there then in here we just have one cellophane bag because it's a brownie tray we have the sticker on the front and here we have my allergen labels so um this one i think is the one this one is the one that's going to be on this box um these ones don't look right so I think I think I've put hazelnuts on there when I didn't need it but I could blank that out um but yeah so I need to make one for the gluten-free box because that will be a bit confusing so I need to put like brownie tray because that's gluten-free but then the cake pops aren't so I need to label it all correctly um so yeah I need to make one label for that but this one I'm gonna stick in there and then we're all ready for tomorrow these are just these are prep boxes so that's all fine hey guys excuse my hair um i've been baking all day so i know this is like a broken record but i have been baking all day so i haven't had a chance to do admin which is literally why it builds up so much which is just what us bakers have to deal with um it's currently 9 15 i need to do a few more things because it's easter so i'm busy with easter orders I baked a load of stuff today and then I'm decorating it in the morning. Um, 
I think I'm gonna cut a few bits because one of them is a treat box and then a lot of the others are like filled eggs and I've got a couple of brownie stacks this weekend. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is cut the brownies and blondies because one of the box has like one brownie, one blondie and then a filled egg and some cupcakes. So I wanna have them cut so that they're kind of ready to be decorated in the morning. Um, and that's the first thing being collected is the treat box and then the brownie stack and then on saturday i've got cupcakes and filled eggs i've got two brownie stacks for tomorrow which i can do in the morning because they don't take very long um and then i've got what else have i got i've got two one brownie stack on sunday and then one on monday um and i've also got some more filled eggs for tomorrow um so yeah there's quite a bit going on so that's what i am currently working on um little update you know i ordered all that stuff yesterday um i ordered the wrong gloves so they're literally the same as the ones that i have and i have about a hundred of the ones that i already have and they're not skin tight um so fellow bakers may know but if you use the like latex free food safe gloves you want the ones that are tight because otherwise they literally just fall off your hand and i ordered the wrong ones last time and then i've done it again on amazon so i've just ordered the right ones um so i'll put a little screenshot somewhere um somewhere here to show you which ones i ordered um but they were like 12 pound i think and yeah i ordered the right ones i'm going to try and return the others um and see whether they um will take them back because i do not need another hundred of the wrong ones um so i don't think i'm going to get much done tonight which is really annoying um i'm hoping that i can get some stuff done tomorrow what i'm thinking is because it's um, quarter past nine I'm thinking that I go to bed by 11 and then I want to get up really early and then hopefully I can smash out everything for tomorrow collections by midday and then it means that everything for Saturday which is literally uh, most of it's for Sunday and Monday so it means that Saturday is just I think a brownie tray and eight cupcakes so not very many but they're like separate gifts if that makes sense oh and um two filled eggs but because they're like separate boxes that makes it seem like more but all together because it's going to the same person it has to all be ready at the same time um so yeah i need to do those on saturday but i should be able to do those in the afternoon because most of the stuff is already baked for that i just need to bake the cupcakes um and then yeah the actual filled eggs will be filled with the same stuff that i'm using for tomorrow's because the tray bakes last 10 days so i'm going to keep um one of the tray bakes that i've done tonight i'm going to keep that uncut so that i can then use it for that one as well on saturday but yeah that's the plan everything is pretty much baked i just need to bake some cupcakes um and then i'm done i'm gonna try and film the podcast tonight because i've got some time so i might add like a sneak peek in somewhere um i will definitely i'm just not sure where it's going to be but i'm hoping that i film it tonight and then what i'll do is i'll add like 30 seconds in just so that you get an idea i also need to add the half and half trays on the website tonight because i told everyone they'd be on there tonight so i'm now offering half and half um brownie trays i'm not doing it for blondies because i feel like the blondie flavors are better if it's all one tray whereas um brownies you can mix chocolates because it's a chocolate brownie whereas if you were to mix like say jammy dodger with biscoff in one tray it's not going to work whereas those aren't the types of flavors you would have on a brownie you'd have biscoff but you might have like i don't know milk chocolate orange or something so they would go together still so I, yeah i feel like the half and half um blondie wouldn't go as well so i'm just going to do it for the brownies for now so that will be on the website as well so yeah i will check back in once i'm doing those and what i'll do is i'll screen record um my computer so you can see what i'm doing on wix because some of you might be intrigued to see what i'm changing so yeah you'll be able to see me amending all of the listings so yeah i will see you once i've put the cupcakes in the, in the kitchen i've tidied up i've still got loads of washing up to do um but i've tidied up my area a bit and i'm just going to do all of the boxes for the weekend so i want to do them for the whole weekend so that i don't have to worry and it also will 
um, give me an idea of what I need to do because obviously although I have my order book it's nice to see it in front of you and go like right those cupcakes are in that box they just need icing etc so I want to have it all boxed up so that I can kind of divvy up the items into boxes and then I can um, just like decorate them as and when I need to so like some of the individual treat boxes which have like a blondie and a brownie then I can go like right I'm going to drizzle the chocolate on that one because that one's going first like prioritize it um obviously if there's like a couple then I do them all together but um it just means that like tonight I can um divvy up everything into boxes and then tomorrow morning I can do it all um so yeah that is the plan so I'm going to put you on time lapse and I will start doing all of the boxes some of them I'm going to put in my bedroom well not I keep saying that but it's not my bedroom anymore um I'm going to put them in the office on the desk because I can put them in the corner on the desk the ones that I don't need tomorrow the ones that maybe I need Sunday um and there's also brownie stacks so I need to pick out the board so that I know if I'm running low because I have a feeling that I'm going to be taking a lot of seven inch boards and those are the ones I use the most at the moment. So if I'm taking four seven inch boards, then I obviously need to make sure that I'm not gonna run out in like a week or so. So I just need to check my stock as well whilst I'm doing it. So that's why I also wanted to take the boxes out. Um, so yeah, I think I might actually need to do a cake decorating company order. Um, but some people wanted to watch her like um, shop with me. So I might do that in a separate video. But yeah, I'm gonna package all the boxes now. boxes are prepped um all of the allergen stickers all of the details inside what is going in there on top the boards um and that took surprisingly long just to do that so they're all prepped for the whole weekend um my side is pretty much clear apart from like eggs my to-do list my melon which i need to cut up um my order log my charger which is there i've got this massive stack of um, washing up to do i'm gonna put this stuff away because that is clear um and then there's just rubbish on the side because this isn't my area of the kitchen so i'm gonna tidy a few bits up that i can um my soup is over there um i got some new oven liners which um i saw on someone else's channel um just like it was a random like home bargains thing. I don't even think it was a baker, but I would definitely recommend them um, because once I've cleaned the oven, I'm gonna put that oven liner in there and then it collects everything and then you just take the oven liner out. So that's what that is. Um, and our eggs that have just been washed from today. But yeah, this is what we need to tackle. Um, I need to put away my tray, which I use this evening. Um, but yeah, not too much to do, even though that looks like a lot, but it shouldn't take me long. Um, so it's currently 10 52 so i think i'm just going to go upstairs and film the podcast episode and then um i will see you in the morning i don't think i'm going to get to do anything on the website um i should get to do some hopefully in the morning fingers crossed um so yeah i told you like I, the time just runs away and then i don't get a chance to do my all my admin so um yeah i I think I'm going to try and add the half and half slab just because I told people that I'd be on. So I'm going to try and do that in bed. So I'll update you once I've done that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, all the toppers and things will be going up tomorrow because it's now 10.50, which is so late. Um, I'm trying to get to bed before midnight and then wake up early. Excuse the towel. It's now Saturday. I didn't get a chance to do any admin yesterday. Um, so that's why we kind of, I think we skipped a day in the vlog. I'm not sure. Um, but 
my collections my last collection hasn't come yet um but the actual stuff is all like in the fridge ready to go so it means that i have a chance to do some admin so i'm gonna put you on time lapse and i'm gonna be adding the toppers to the web to the website the cake pops to the site and i also need to just edit a few photos on there so i'm going to be uploading those i am going to film the first podcast episode today i promise um and then i can get that up it's called sweet talk so i don't believe it's on anything yet i've like registered it with um spotify and all of that um and i've registered it as a podcast um but you have to actually have episodes i believe um and i also need like a kind of like an album cover for it so i think what i'm going to do is when i get the merch photos taken because i'll be wearing like my merch i thought that i might use one of those as like it's meant it, they always look like album covers because they're kind of like that cool photo so i was thinking that maybe i can get my brother to take like a fun photo that isn't just like a model of the t-shirts and hoodies um and then i can use the fun photo as the like cover so we'll see um but yeah so i need to film the first episode and upload that so i'm definitely doing that this afternoon i have nothing else to do today um everything else that i need to do isn't until tomorrow morning um i think i need to bake a tray of brownies but i don't actually need to do anything with it until tomorrow morning and to bake it takes literally about half an hour because once it's in the oven i'm done so yeah we haven't got much to do so Hopefully I will get this list done because it's still just looking as bad as it was um, before. I can cross off the buying ingredients because that has been done because I went to Asda. Um, and there is a separate haul for that. So if you haven't watched that, then go and watch it. It was a live just because then it means I didn't need to edit it. So it went up a bit quicker. So yeah, if you want to see what I bought from Asda, then um, go and check that out because uh, that's what I did yesterday when I was not vlogging for the admin, I was going to Asda and Ikea. So there's a vlog for Ikea and there's also a haul for Asda. So go and check those out. Um, and I also need to update my order log. I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. It's gonna take a while. So um, I'm gonna do the website stuff first because I think that's more of a priority. And then I can update the order log like as and when I need to. So I'm hoping that maybe I can do that later this afternoon. And I also wanna get a bit of merch done today fingers crossed at least one item would be nice um and i'd quite like to do one of the mugs so i'm also going to try and do the prints i think i'm going to try the prints first because what i'm going to do is i'm going to split it so that it prints onto one page i'm going to test it on matte card just to see what the color quality looks like and then if i'm happy with it then i'll start printing it on gloss card and the gloss card will be what they actually go out as they're going to be postcard size, which is um, A6, is that right? Half of a quarter of an A4 page. So yeah, A6. Um, so yeah, they're a nice size. They're like postcard size. And you can either use it as a postcard or like I love like pinning stuff on my wall, but I try to refrain. I got my dad to take them all off, um, which is why there's like the odd patchiness because I used to have postcards all over this wall. Um, and now I just have an album of them, but there's one of them there. Um, but yeah, I love collecting postcards. So you could put them on your wall. You could put them on a pegboard and there'll be all my like merch designs and there will be some extras because for prints because it's on a um, rectangular surface rather than on like a hoodie I can have it completely covering the whole of the print not just because it's got no there's no like random edges if that makes sense it's a rectangle so I just print it on that um, whereas on merch I couldn't have like a whole square because then it would have an outline of that square or rectangle on it so it wouldn't look right i'm gonna go and grab my food from the oven because i am cooking some of the things that i got from asda which is um fish goujons or like fishless goujons um so i'm gonna be eating those as my lunch and then doing this admin so yeah like i said i'll put you on time lapse i don't know if i mentioned it but i wash my hair so that's why i'm wearing this funny towel so please excuse that but yeah i will put you on time lapse and you'll see me updating the website and any other admin bits i'm gonna do
have finished my admin for the moment. Um, I did all of the cake pops are on the site and Etsy. The cake toppers are also on the site and Etsy. Um, I thought I'd put them on Etsy just to see whether I should, um, like see whether they get any interest. Um, excuse my hair, I could not get my bun right today. Um, so yeah, they're both on the website. I updated all of my Etsy SEO. So I wanted to show you this thing that I saw on TikTok because I learn all of my valuable information off of that app. And basically someone did a little video where they showed you how to change your Etsy SEO because they change the algorithm all the time. It's like apps. So you always have to keep up with your keywords and all of that. And it's basically an, an app that suggests it all for you so it'll, you type in like brownies and it will give you all these keywords and like tell you the ranking of them all um, and even though Etsy does that you have to actually search for them um, in the like normal search bar it doesn't give you like the behind the scenes of it so I'm going to show you what this app is and where to find it on your Etsy so that if you want to get it you can um, because I'm hoping that it helps me get even more sales because I thought well there's no harm um, and I needed to update my keywords anyway because I felt like I was still getting views but not as many as I was getting in like January because I do know that the algorithm changed I think in February um, so yeah I needed to change them anyway but just didn't have the time because I mean it's six o'clock now so it's taken me since like three o'clock to um, put everything on the site and also update all the keywords and everything then I'm going to go on my phone and update all the photos on both um, Etsy and my website but to do that all the photos are on my phone so that's why I do that all on my phone and I can't film that for you but um, if you go and look on my <laughs> Etsy on my website you'll be able to see um, which are all linked down below if you're curious but yeah this is what we've done so far so we got quite far on the admin side I also I don't know whether you saw because I wanted to time lapse because it took so long to update the website and do all of that but I'm hoping you guys got an idea of what I was actually doing I will put little captions which you would have already seen um, but I had to do all the stock of the card toppers so I had to work out how many pieces of card would make how many toppers and then update all the stock so that if someone bought a blue one for instance it would take that off of the stock and not just leave it as like 100 items um i had to do all of the like delivery information then when i did the cake pops I had to do all the variations of the product then you have to do the um what is it the policies so returns refunds storage all of that so i had to update all of that um, so yes, it was lots, but I'm going to turn you around and show you this app and also just give you a little run through my Etsy, which is going to be the same as my website. So I'll just show you on Etsy what's been added basically. So I'm just going to turn you around. So this is my Etsy. Um, I've got my announcement up there, which I will be changing tomorrow. So the new thing that we got is these cake pops. So they're brownie filled and they're heart ones. So even though that I've got pictures of ones with sticks, these are not included. So I've got the drop down of the color. Then we have the style. So you pick what kind of style you want to go for. And then oh, I need to change that because it's not optional. I don't think. Oh no, it is actually. Um, yeah. So any other details. So like if you wanted the drizzle specifically white, not pink to match, then just put it in there. And then we've got my reviews, and then I had to write out all this description. Very long description. Um, and then, where else? Delivery, etc. So I had to write all that out. And then if we go back, we've got cake toppers. And I know that it's pretty self-explanatory that the cake isn't included for four pounds, but you have to put it just because I haven't got any photos of the toppers on their own yet. I've only got them on my cakes. So I thought I'll put this up and then I'll say that the cake isn't included in case anyone gets confused. So there's a 50 pence difference because you can get just a simple happy birthday like so, which is a bit smaller, or you can get a much bigger topper like so, which has the um, age in it. So there's happy birthday and then you put your name that you want on it. Then there's happy birthday plain and then there's happy 
for instance, 21st birthday. And then what you do in the personalization is you enter the name and or age that you need and you have to make sure that you check it all because obviously if you spell a name wrong, I'm gonna print it like that because I can't um, assume that it's not spelt that way. So yeah, you have to double check all your spelling and everything. Then there's all the information about that. They're posted first class um, letter. So I think it's first class signed. So um, that's why they're a lot cheaper because they're a lot smaller. So that's everything that's on Etsy. So it's shop manager here. Then it is integrations on the side there. Then you go to this E rank which then brings you here. So this is what it looks like. And I've typed in brownie pop. But if I do, for instance, brownie, then it tells you the average price, the listings, the average views, daily views, weekly, etc. how many people have saved it, um, when it actually loads, there you go. Then it gives you all these keywords here. It tells you the categories that they're in. This is the one that mine's in, and it's the most popular. Then it shows you all the rankings. So um, some of these obviously won't necessarily fit in. So you have to make sure it's 20 characters. But for instance, Brownie has 19,000. So that shows you how many other people are using that tag. So then you probably want to not use that tag because that's a lot. So then it means that if I was to go to here and type in... Um, brownie if it does it there we go um brownie then as you can see there's 13,000 people that are using this and if you have a little scroll through it shows you obviously all the ones that are on here those people still have their easter ones on here um yeah so the first page is obviously the most important so the more you get promoted onto the first page the better but there are so many bakers on here at the moment that um, you have to be a bit more specific, I would say, which is why it is good to update all your tags and everything. So those are the first two pages, just out of curiosity. Um, and yeah, you go to this E rank and then that will be, if you're using that brownie, then it means every time someone types in brownie, it will come up with those 19,000 other people's work as well as yours so yeah you want to pick ones that are a little bit more refined so yeah that is what you do basically um price range processing times um yeah then there's top listings yeah i don't know whether these are all based in the uk or not but yeah, it shows you all the top listings. Is there anything else at the bottom? No, I think that's just the ranking. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I really like it. It's got various different things here. Um, some of them are like premium. So um, you have to like pay extra upgrade, see? But this keyword tool is free. Then there's spotted on Etsy. Um, we have not spotted any of your listings on Etsy in the last 24 hours for the keywords you are monitoring so you can monitor keywords and then i guess see whether your listings pop up so yeah but this is the little app but i thought i'd mention it because i saw it on tiktok and supposedly it's really good so um yeah it's e-rank and you just go into integrations and that's it so that's what I've done. I will let you know if I do anything else this afternoon, like merch or podcasts, etc. and keep you updated. I'm still in my office. Excuse the angle. I am like resting you up against my drink. But I wanted to show you. So I haven't had a chance to do, um, like actually do any merch, but I have actually done quite a lot since we last spoke. So I've been doing some research on YouTube on how to print stuff because obviously I don't want to, because I'm doing it all myself and not like outsourcing it to a big company and like, paying them i wanted to do it all myself so that i had full control um and it also means that you get more like freedom on where you place things because when you order online sometimes they literally say right left right um in the middle and that's it whereas i want to put stuff on the sleeves i want to put stuff on the back so 
I wanted to have freedom to do it all myself, which is hence why I'm learning how to do it. My mum knows how to print on t-shirts and stuff like that, so I have got her to like fall back on if I get confused, but I wanted to do some research anyway. So for the past like two hours, I've been watching t-shirt printing videos, mug printing videos, etc. Um, and I was also making some prints, which I'm actually really happy with how they came out. I can't decide. I think I'm going to go for gloss, um, but I'm going to do a little more research just to see. But this is what they look like. So they're A5 and I love them. So I'm not sure what I'm doing on the back because obviously... Um, you could write on it yourself and make it a postcard. So I was thinking maybe I give people the freedom to do that. Um, because if I write the lines on the back, whichever way, like whether it's portrait or landscape, then it means that if someone does want to write on the back of it and give it to someone rather than posting it, then I've like ruined that by putting lines on the back. Cause that always annoyed me with postcards because I would always put a postcard in an envelope. So those lines on the postcard were always like, they took up half the space that you had for writing. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna leave them blank so that if someone does just wanna write a note or if they just want it plain, cause I would quite like to just have them on my wall. So these are my sample ones cause they, these are on plain card because my gloss card hasn't arrived yet. Um, I thought I'd ordered it and I hadn't. Um, so yeah, these are just on matte card, which is why they're gonna be my samples, but I thought I can have them on my, pegboard when I get my IKEA pegboard up because it's got some clips like magnetic clips so I thought I can clip some of them up so here is the Victoria sponge one and these are all merch designs I'm also going to be doing like a rollover so every time I do a new cake I'm going to do a new design and then it means that I'll have a stock so when I next do an updated merch then it means that I'll have more designs just like a stock of them then we have a white chocolate cupcake We've got a triple chocolate brownie. So this one is landscape, all the others are portrait. We have a kinder brownie. I love this one. This one's my favourite out of the brownies. Then we have the 21st birthday cake I did, which I love the cakes. I love how the cakes look on these. Then we have a, um, what is it called? Chocolate and cherry. I think it's like wild cherry, they call it, is the flavour. But I've never done it, but I just love the way that it looks with the cherry on top. But it's, yeah, chocolate and cherry. Then I have my sister-in-law's cake that I did. Again, I love how these turned out with the cakes on. It makes me so excited because it's literally gonna be like this. It'll, it'll be this kind of size on the t-shirts and stuff. And then this is the chocolate orange cupcake. So yeah, I love how they turned out. And I think they're perfect size as well. So I'm super pleased with them. I really wanna fill up this box though. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll be sold as like, they're called prints. Um, because they'll be on like high quality card. Um, these were just samples, but they will be on like high quality card. And obviously I've spent the time to actually design them, which took hours, like hours and hours. I'm gonna do some research on pricing because I can't tell you guys in this vlog because I honestly don't know. Because like I say, they take so much time. So I need to get an idea of how much people charge. Um, I think mine will be lower than theirs because, I mean, I don't know, but um yeah because obviously i need to make sure it's in the same ratio to all my actual merch clothing because they can't be too expensive otherwise um it won't compare to like how expensive or like not expensive the t-shirts and jumpers and stuff are so yeah i need to make sure that they're reasonable but i also um don't want them like to be you know a pound because then um it won't be like necessarily worth the time but yeah because what i'm thinking is with these because they're prints i can make new designs like on a daily basis so if you guys like them i was thinking what i can do is i'll have some like this where they got a white background but i was also thinking i could do some with like 10 different designs on them like loads of different cupcakes different cakes a mixture of the two i could do some with like some funky backgrounds so they're on like colored backgrounds rather than white um and they'll be like smaller images um so yeah i was thinking i could do lots of cartoon ones and then i thought i could have like sweet things by amy the name and then also some kind of um cartoon to go with it whether it's like a whisk or um i really want to do a kitchenaid one so i'm going to maybe do that later 
um so yeah i want to try and draw a little kitchen aid like my kitchen aid so yeah we will see but i really want to fill this box up because as you can see it makes it look really empty but now that i've put them in here i'm like oh i really want to fill it up so um yeah i'm gonna try and get some more designs done but they won't be released with this merch they'll be released with the prints but they won't be released actually on hoodies because i've got too many designs already that i need to do um but yeah they will be on like the next lot of merch um so yeah that is what i've been doing i've been watching some youtube just relaxing because i did so much admin this afternoon then tomorrow i've just got to do a brownie stack which is for my brother and his partner um for easter so um yeah that isn't like too strenuous or anything because it's family so um yeah it's kind of like as and when they want it but um yeah it's all baked and it's half stacked i just need to stack the rest of the brownies that are going on it so it's kind of like imagine a brownie stack but half done so i just need to stack a few more brownies on it to make it taller um so i had to bake those and then um that'll be done so i'll do that in the morning probably but this is probably already such a long video but um i hope you guys found this a little bit interesting but it's basically just show you what admin you do and like it can vary so much but i'm hope so many people asked for this so i'm hoping that it was interesting i wasn't really sure how to film it because obviously a lot of the admin i can't necessarily show you exactly what i'm doing um or like it might be boring so i've tried to make it interesting by adding in a bit of merch talk um but yeah it's basically keeping up order logs replying to messages takes so long um you know doing post stories um buying equipment um i've got a massive roll of pink paper what do you call it bubble wrap which i've nowhere to store so as you can see it's just in the middle of my desk um i don't know what to do with that um so that's why i keep looking over there because i it just it's annoying me but i don't know where to put it because it's so big i think i'm gonna put the heat press on the desk and then put the bubble wrap on the windowsill because i think it would look better there so I think I'm gonna switch that around before I go to bed. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the admin. Um, and I also went to Ikea and collected my pegboard. I don't know if I showed you that, but um, yeah, so I've got my pegboard. I just need my dad to put it up because I didn't realize you have to actually drill it into the wall. I thought you just like hook it on the wall, um, but he said that it would probably fall off if I did that. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, so that'll be another video, um, is putting up the pegboard. So I am going to leave you.